What's up everyone, Michael here with another topic video. Twitch has announced that this spring it is going to start selling games, which is actually really, really interesting considering Twitch has always been a streaming platform. However, the acquisition by Amazon is definitely kind of a big influence here, and Amazon seems to be kind of turning Twitch into a sort of general gaming machine sort of like platform, which is actually really, really interesting. But first, let's get into details. How are they actually going to sell games? Now, for one, how are you going to get them on your PC? Basically, there's going to be a Twitch app that has like a sort of, it's a desktop app that has, you know, a marketplace and then you're able to install it just like any other sort of marketplace that we already have on PC. Now, what's actually really, really interesting is that the developer are going to get 70% cut, which is pretty standard for these sort of things. However, there's also going to be a 5% cut if a streamer manages to sell a game. So according to the announcement, basically if you are on a streaming page and watching somebody stream a game, there's going to be a buy now button if the game is available on the Twitch platform, which means that basically you'll be able to buy it right off the gate just by pushing that button and the streamer will get a 5% cut from this. Now this is a good thing for a couple of reasons. One, it's obviously a little bit more extra credit for a streamer because making money while streaming is literally impossible for most people. And so having another way to kind of get a little bit more money or kind of do other things is a definitely a good thing. Now there are some negatives, but we'll talk about those a little bit later. Now for the actually Twitch selling games bit, this is actually really, really cool because more competition inside the gaming space is definitely a good thing. Now I don't necessarily like that I'm gonna have to have another app because I already have you know, Steam, Uplay, Windows Store, and Origins installed on my PC to basically play any game that I have installed. And I always have to be like, all right, well, what platform did I buy it on? And I'm really scared that Twitch is gonna start having exclusives as well. You know, this whole exclusives thing, which Humble Bundle started doing recently and I'm not necessarily a fan of, is I don't really like exclusive titles on a specific storefront. And this definitely doesn't seem like something that's going to have unique titles, but it definitely probably will in the future if it ends up performing particularly well. Which is my main concern with the platform itself. Now the streaming bit definitely has a lot of concern people as well to where you can end up having you know, streamers, because they are going to be getting a 5% cut if they end up streaming the game and then, you know, kind of benefiting from it. One, it could end up causing favorability for certain games on the platform. And so people could be like, oh, well, what game am I going to stream? I don't know. Let's uh, let's play a game that I could actually earn money from playing. Yay, let's do that. And that means that basically, you know, these games are going to be preferably played. And I'm not going to say that I wouldn't be one of those people, not because I would want to make money, but rather because if I was, you know, planning to stream and I didn't know what game to stream, and I needed something to play, I was like, all right, you know what? Why not? And it's not necessarily because I want to like, you know, make money or anything like that, which is like I said, but basically because it's one of those cases of if I'm going to, why not at least try it? Now, normally I would have like a game in mind that I'd be playing and it's pretty rare for me to run out of games to stream considering I have hundreds of the dang things. And so, yeah, that probably wouldn't happen. And I don't see myself necessarily owning up and actually doing that in the long term. I think it's one of those cases to where I'd probably do it once or twice and then be like, all right, yeah, you know what? I'm done with it. And then that's probably it. However, I definitely don't think that's going to be everyone else's mindset. I think most people are going to be like, you know what? Sure, I can make a quick buck from this. And that favorability is definitely not going to be a good thing. However, there's also the kind of point where on the other end, there's also the kind of kind of toxic reason, I would say about people just streaming to kind of make money. The more ways that you can make money from streaming, the better for people that do streaming for a living. However, it also incentivizes people to end up streaming certain games. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing on the marketing end because Twitch has definitely become a marketing platform. We definitely saw a lot of marketing with games like, let's say, For Honor, for example, which had this huge kind of big marketing push on Twitch from uh, Ubisoft, I believe, was the publisher of that one. And so they were basically like, hey, you know what? We're going to pay a bunch of people to stream the game and people are going to, you know, end up buying more of the copies because they end up seeing their favorite streamers and everyone else streaming it. So they're like, hey, this game must be popular. And they ended up doing the same thing with Rainbow Six Siege, which I don't think it necessarily worked for Rainbow Six Siege as well. But regardless of the situation, it ended up being fairly successful for them. And so, you know, Twitch moving on to trying to sell games in this manner definitely doesn't kind of surprise me. It's more of a case of, yeah, kind of obviously that was going to happen. I just didn't exactly have like expect it to be its own storefront. I expected it to be something like Steam Keys or something along those lines to where it would be a system to where you would use other storefronts rather than their own. 
Now, the positives to this are kind of obvious in everywhere, as in basically, you know, more storefronts and competition is always a good thing. And I think that Twitch kind of getting into this whole, or rather Amazon, really, because I don't think it's necessarily Twitch, but rather it's Amazon, kind of having a storefront isn't necessarily a bad thing either. Maybe you'll end up kind of combining it with your Amazon Prime if you end up having that because it already integrates into Twitch. And I could see a lot of sort of bonus types content going in for streamers, and maybe it can end up being a way to get games to end up streaming as well. Like, let's say, you know, somebody's a streamer or you're a streamer and you want to kind of get games for the platform. There you go. There's going to be a prime selection and you always know there's going to be a market for it because, of course, Twitch is going to sort of promote the games that it can sell. And so it's not necessarily going to be a bad idea to end up kind of picking up games on that system. That said, there are definitely some drawbacks and I am kind of concerned with a lot of the ways that these sort of things are going. And it could end up running into a situation to where, you know, Twitch kind of has like only a limited selection of games and it ends up just being another storefront that people have to bother with. And if that ends up happening, will the Twitch store even end up being very successful? Will it end up being something that people even consider buying from? Because I could definitely see a lot of people being like, you know what? I don't really care about this storefront. I'm just going to go on and buy it on Steam because Steam's what everyone uses. And that's what I like to use because it literally has everything and does everything. Or they'll be like, hey, you know what? I want to just buy it through Uplay so it syncs with all my user user accounts and everything. Now, that's not to say that the Amazon, or rather Twitch, thing isn't going to have just games on their own platform. It could end up being keys as well. And they did say it would, you know, sync with things like Uplay or Origin. They actually used those two examples because they mentioned uh, Ubisoft and EA. They were like, oh yeah, you could buy games from your great publishers like Ubisoft and EA and some other company. I forgot what the name was. And so, yeah, I don't, I'm not necessarily think that's a good thing for most people to say that sort of thing because they're like, you know what, uh, whatever, I'm, I'm done with EA and Ubisoft. But at the same time, I can see a lot of indie games also being being on this platform, which is actually really, really cool. But regardless, you know, more platforms and more ways for this to kind of work out. I think that Twitch is definitely becoming more of a marketing tool, which is somewhat concerning. But at the same time, it's kind of been a long ways away and we've kind of already seen it coming for quite a while. So it doesn't necessarily surprise me. And I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot more of Twitch kind of promoting its sort of storefront sort of style stuff a lot more, which once again, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of it, but at the same time, this could end up being a good point for the future. It could end up being a great routing for Twitch because the more money Twitch makes, the more money that people that stream for a living could end up making, which I always think is actually quite important. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this one. This has been Michael with another topic video. Game in the background has been Dust Force. This is a platformer. I've been playing a lot of platformers recently, and this is one that I recently reinstalled because my sister actually loved this game. She thought it was really, really fun, although it was way too difficult for her to play. But she absolutely loved it, and we ended up playing some multiplayer of it and stuff like that. It's actually really, really cool. Your entire objective is just to run around and clean things up. But yeah, it's it's not even that expensive either. It's fairly old as well. But regardless, you know, it's actually pretty fun. So if you want to check that out, you can. Also, if you want to end up checking out my other types of series, you can also check out my impressions series as well. I also did a recent overview for Icy. So I did a review of Icy and I did a kind of over slash review for the DLC. So if you're actually interested in the DLC, maybe you've played it before and you did, haven't seen the new DLC, which is actually free, by the way. You can end up checking out that video to see what's in it and everything like that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to clean some leaves. Oh, damn it. Or I'm going to fall. Ah, ah, ah.